Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I just want to show you the new Elegant Themes convertible theme and um, what it does is you can drag and drop uh, modules and columns and stuff to anywhere you want and you can build landing pages or sales pages or squeeze pages or whatever you want to do. Okay, so um, well, I already started, obviously. So what I did was go and install the theme, just like any other theme that you install. Okay, so I went to Appearance, and then I went to the Theme section, and just installed the new theme. Okay, now um, when I did that, I um, automatically landed on this page here, Landing Page Builder and um, what it was was these tabs up here and all of this was blank okay because what's happened is I have made this myself so what I've done here is I've got um, modules which are these big blue things here and also if I wanted to split something up I put columns in and stuff like that so what I did is uh, just say you want to start off um, with a module so you press on add module and just say you wanted a header so you just drag it down and you drop it there okay now obviously I've already got one here so what happened is this one's moved down the bottom here that I just dropped there okay well we won't worry about that now once I've dropped the header there I just click on this here to edit it and what I've done is I've written cool landing page and I could have written some text in there if I wanted to uh, I chose a color so I'll just change it to blue at the moment and press save changes okay so that is kinda of the strip ribbon strip thing with a um, line going across it with the you know with the heading now um, after that uh, I put some text here and an image um, but I could have put a video because like if you're going to make a squeeze page or whatever you could put a video with some text uh, or some video with a list now all you have to do is drag the video down here but I dragged an image down here so all I did was click on here and I pressed on upload and I uploaded the image okay and it also says the image size the image title and the caption and stuff like that now I didn't fill in anything there I just press save changes right so uh, the horizontal bar you grab that from up there as well and all it is is a line to break things up which looks pretty good um, also we've got the tabs here um, you know that's tabbed content I'll show that to you in a minute now down further I went and played with a few columns okay so I dropped a two-third column in and then a one-third column in next to it so it fits in perfectly here then I went back to the modules and dropped them in okay so I went to this thing here and said add column and I chose which one I wanted now I took the two-thirds and the third together so that so that equals one okay um, if you're not very good at maths then you might have a little bit of a problem um, like two halves equals one or four quarters so basically you can make anything that you like so what I've done is a two-thirds and a third and then down below I went a third, a third, a third and um, there's so many things you can do it's not funny um, I also uh, grabbed a widget okay, so which is another um, module right all I did was drag it down there it is there widget area and I dragged it down and dumped it here. Now I also resized these so if you go on to the end you'll see an arrow where you can resize it 
Now if I bring it out longer, oop, if I stretch it, obviously these two widgets here can't fit together and I can see the percentage here. So if I want them to fit together, all I have to do is bring it in to a nice percentage. What have we got? 47%. Just make it 48 and this one's 48 and now they fit in together side by side. Okay. Um, and also if you just wanted to go and get two half columns and put it there first and then drop the widget into it, you can do that too. Okay, so what the widget area does is that means that it adds widgets into your widget section. Okay, so to configure this, okay, you press on here. Right, now what I've done is I've chosen widget area 2 to go into this box that I've got. So I'm going to press save changes. Okay. Now if I go into the widgets section, I'm going to press on it and it takes me to the widgets section. Now if I look over here, I've got widget area 2. Now what I've done is I dropped a text in here. I just picked it up, took it over and dropped it in there. Then I filled it in with what I wanted. So I'll just delete that one. Right, so what I did is I put a um, sign up form there just for an example of what you can do with these widgets. Now obviously you can do absolutely anything that you like. So uh, I put a sign up form in there. Okay, so let's go and have a look. We'll go back to where we're meant to be, onto the landing page builder. Okay, so we've got all the stuff there. Um, I've actually got that header there, but let's bring it up here above the list. See how everything is moved out of the way so I can move in? Okay, so let's put a little bit of a um, title to this one. So let's um, call it Cool Benefits. Okay, and you can put some text in there if you want to, and you can change the color, and you can put additional CSS if you want to. Now, Let's press Save Changes. Okay, so let's have a look at the real thing. So, oh, first I want to show you that this is what the page looks at like when you've done nothing at all. Okay, when you've built no, um, when you've put no modules in or anything like that, this is what it looks like. Um, so now I'm just going to refresh this quickly. Okay. Okay, so as you can see I've got the blue ribbon text here. I've got my um, heading that I chose to put there. I, I wrote cool landing page. Um, I put that picture in there and I put the text there. Now this could have been a video here, okay. Um, then I made some tabbed content so you can click on the tabs of this and you get different content there and you can put pictures in there and stuff like that and make it look jazzy and now I put another um, heading in here with the blue ribbon and down below I've got some points and also some um, testimonials here sitting on the side now these are the two little uh, the third column that I made and over here this list is the two-thirds column. Okay. <coughs> then I went down below and I made a third column. Third, third and third. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. When you mouse over that, it lights up. Okay. Okay, so look how easy it is to make these um, these price boxes. I love them. 
and um, you can make this link straight to uh, your PayPal buy it now thing or your e-junkie or whatever whatever payment method you're using um, you can just do that and also this is a box and I added text to it and this is how it turned out I thought it looked pretty good um, and these are the pricing um, options and I added two pricing options in there okay so remember when I was talking about those widgets and I added two widgets there they are and I added the um, the opt-in text to both of them so that's why they look the same but you can obviously change it you can do whatever you want so this just proves that you can use absolutely anything in there and it's very easy so anything that you can make in uh, like create in a widget you can add to this theme um, so like I can add some more widgets below and add in um, say some footer text or something like that um, of course I can go and edit this footer text down here and um, yeah you can do all sorts of things right so see it, I think it looks pretty good um, also with the background color here um, when you're signed in as an admin you can just press on these colors and it changes okay so you can change the look of your website and also you can click on here and just just slide it like this okay until you get a nice color so uh, yeah it's pretty full on and um, it took me a while to work that out um, amazing how um, how many options you've got with this so um, we've also got um, see how the curly bits come in you can change it um, I like plain backgrounds but yeah you can do whatever you want you can also change the header text so you've got a big choice there and also the body text but I'm just sticking with the default at the moment okay um, I thought it was pretty good and I haven't even tried anything yet so um, because it does take a little bit of working out so you can drop it's you know you can drop the modules in by themselves and then resize them or you can add columns to control them um, so you don't need to do any resizing um, there's so many options in here and you can do like the widget thing that was a great um, thing for me because I know that I can add anything I like in there um, if you know how to you know add widgets you can do it um, this would make a fantastic sales page or whatever you want to do with it I love it and um, I would love to use this everywhere alright I hope I haven't left anything out for you um, it's got well you know with the elegant themes they've all got these um, theme options here as well um, if you want to change something uh, also you could go into uh, the editor to change the CSS and do a few things a few more changes I know people like to do that um, I'm quite happy with how it looks and how it comes up with so this this is a pretty professional um, theme here and I see that these buttons here are very similar to the ones on Elegant Themes website and stuff like that um, and we all know how fantastic that website converts alright so this is I think this would be fantastic Alright, thanks for watching.